Hi, today I have a review for you from The Other Sister by Sarah Zetto. This book was provided to me by the publisher Grand Central Publishing. I love this book and I actually gave it four and a half stars. Now, let me first of all start with the blurb that came directly from the publisher. It reads, Geraldine Monroe is the bad sister. Reckless and troubled, she, is, she ran away from home after the mysterious death of their mother 20 years ago. Marie, on the other hand, has always been the good sister. She is the obedient daughter and loving mother to her son. Now Geraldine has come home, for good it seems, and no one, not the aunts or uncles or cousins, really know why. The most suspicious of all is Martin Monroe the father who rules the extended family in their small town with a poisonous combination of money and cold-heartedness. But even he doesn't realize what the truth is. But the sisters, the truth is rather, that the sisters have become allies in a plot to kill him. Bound by blood and the need to right the past, Geraldine and Marie set their plan in motion. When old secrets and new fears clash, everyone is pushed to the breaking point and the sisters will learn that they cannot trust anyone, not even each other. Okay, my thoughts on the matter? Now, in this story, we're right away given a division between the two sisters. Geraldine is the bad sister, Marie is the good sister. Presently, Mar Geraldine is there because her nephew is about to graduate, and there is about to be a huge graduation party. She's visited home before over the years, but this visit is going to be unlike any other visit. First of all, she has a huge plan that she's concocted with Marie. Second of all, this isn't just a visit. She's there to stay. Now, we learn a lot about the sisters through the way the book is written. It's written in varying timelines, and it talks from both of their points of view, starting from when they were young children until present. The past and the present are seen together, uh, put together quite seamlessly, rather you'll understand something about their nature, why they were always on the other side of the coin, but what's more is you'll understand why they're together now. Meanwhile, her father is very wary of Geraldine. He does not want her there. He does not want her in town. He does not want her at the party. And he's really relying on Marie to keep Geraldine in line. Now, the question is, will Marie stand by her father as she's done her whole life or will she actually stand by by Geraldine while we're trying to understand whether or not this will happen or what will happen things begin to change and they've changed begun to change so rapidly that the issue of tr trust comes up can these girls these women trust each other now if they cannot what's going to happen with their plan what's going to happen with their father, and what's going to happen with their futures. Now, as mentioned, it's told in various timelines. Now, the twists and turns that come along with this, they're, they're shocking, they're twisting, they're scary. They kept me turning pages, actually. I found the book to be quite riveting, and they even there were times with all the darkness that the story told, I found that the story was heartbreaking at times. There's lots of revelations and lots of secrets. There's a, quite a bit to keep you interested in the book, just as I was. Now, I've never read a book by this author, Z Sarah Zettel, before, but she's a fa fantabulous writer. Fantabulous, fabulous, fantastic. Put it together. We'll just say fantabulous. In any event, she's an excellent writer. She kept me very interested in the story. And I love the way that she used fairy tales as a parallel to parallel the past, the present, and, the, and to tie the whole story together. As a matter of fact, it added to the intensity of the story. It is an evil plot, as I said, quite dark, but it's one that will truly capture your attention as it did mine. I will give you a dare at this time. Buy the book, pick it up, open it up. The dare is this. Try to put it down, because I just could not. Okay, so that's it. That's my thought on the other sister. Again, it was provided by the publisher, Grand Central Publishing, and for that I am very grateful. I provided some links below. One of the links I provided, by the way, is for Amazon, because I am now an Amazon affiliate. So should you 
purchase the book via the link, I will let you know in advance that I will get a few pennies off of the book, but it will not cost you anything extra. If you're interested, please feel free to check out my blog. You'll see, I believe, 185 reviews uh, just in the last few months. It's been quite busy. I don't think this channel will be as busy as the blog, but I do hope to provide a lot of content, interesting content, with various books of different genres that will interest more than a few people. In any event, thank you for all of your time. Enjoy the review if you can, but what's more is enjoy the other sister. You take good care. Bye now.